Hi, welcome to the course about how to build a modern component library with React and Storybook. This is going to be the introductory lesson, and we are going to talk about the requirements, what is not this course, what is a component library, because maybe some of you don't have a clear idea what we are going to build here, the course syllables, what are the modules, and finally, the course series, because this is just one of the four course series that I am releasing for you. But before that, let's talk a little bit about me. So for those that doesn't know me, I'm Guillermo Rodas. I'm a Google developer expert in web technologies, community organizer, and online teacher. You can find me in my socials as glrasz, or you can Google my name, and you definitely will find something. Let's talk about the requirements. So for this course, you need to know some JavaScript, at least has been coding with JavaScript for a while, and also a little bit of React knowledge. At least know how to build components, how to handle the props, how to handle the state. And why is that, you might be asking? Well, this course is not going to be a course that will teach you about how to code, but it's going to teach you how to build a product, how to build better developer experiences, and how to use good criteria to take decisions and how to use good practices. So I'm not interested in you as a viewer to just copy and paste the code to build your own custom modern component library. I'm more interested in you to learn how to take decisions about what tool to use or what library to use, etc. Because this is just one solution of many possible solutions of your problem. If you have any question about this course or any question about programming at all, how to code or even career advice, I really recommend you to join us on this course. We are an amazing community that will be there for answer any question. I myself will be there for take a look into your opinions, feedbacks or questions. So let's start solving the most important question of this course right now. What is a component library? Some of you already know Component libraries, you might hear about Bootstrap, Material UI, or Undesign. Material UI is pretty popular, I would say. Personally, I prefer to use Undesign. I think they have nice documentation. They are one of the first libraries that are specifically for React. But as you notice, those are just a group of UI components that you can use in your project. And that's what is a component library, just a set of UI components that you might want to use on your project. And this works pretty well for any project at all, especially for MVPs, minimum viable products, or even a prototype. But sometimes you have a very custom design or very custom project, and those libraries doesn't fit pretty well in your project. So you might spend more time trying to modify or change or build stuff around material UI or undesign to make them fit into your project. In reality, it will be easier just to build something from the scratch. But of course, you are afraid that you don't have good documentation or that the components are not reusable enough. And that's what we are going to learn today. Not today, but in the many lessons that you are going to watch, you will learn how to build a proper modern component library with React and Storybook. As you can see, there is this screenshot or our zero components component library. You can see the button here, the code, the props, all the documentation, you can play with it. It's super nice to show it to your team with your product managers. And we will take a look about that. So what are the contents of this course? It's going to be pretty long. Yes, this is not going to be a small, basic, short course. No, you will spend a few time here. So this is composed by 10 modules. Each module is made of multiple videos. Every video is a lesson. So first, we will be doing a lot of advanced storybooks using templates. And uh, this is the new way to use a storybook since version 6. Then we are going to talk about something very important for even your design systems called design tokens. Later, we will use Node.js to write custom screen. You are wondering why Node.js in a component library course? Because I want to teach you 
that you have the tools there to build your stuff. You don't need a lot of dependencies. You can do it yourself. It's pretty simple. You will learn this and maybe use it for the future for other projects or for improve your development experience. In the fourth, we will talk about atomic design with React using this approach. In the fifth, we were talking about Prettier, Sling, and Silentlin. These tools will help us to have a better code. In the sixth, we will do unique structural interaction testing with Jess. In the seventh, we will do in visual testing with Chromatic. In the eighth, we will check a better way to write NPN scripts. When you have a very advanced project, you might end up with a lot of scripts. And we are going to explore a better way to write them because later in the nine, we are going to use those scripts in a continuous integration environment. In this case, we are going to use GitHub options, but of course this will work for any environment like Jenkins, for instance. And finally, in the 10th, we will be publishing our company library in NPN using a package called Semantic Release that will make better experience for you or your team. As I said before, this is just one part of four courses. This is a lot of content. It's going to be a lot of fun because we are going to be working on the same project. We will start with this modern company library with React. Then we will be checking how to build a nice front end using React Query and Next.js. Then we will be uh, working on the API using clean architecture with Fastify. And finally, we are going to build the mobile app using React and React Native using a concept called universal rendering that basically will we use components that we are going to build in this course, but they will render on the web or in mobile, depending on sort of rules. So in this introductory lesson, we just check what are the requirements. Remember JavaScript and basic React knowledge is what you need. This is no about learn how to code. However, sometimes I will be go deep into some basic concepts because sometimes people is misleading the concept itself. So sometimes I step back and, and talk a little bit about basic concepts. Then remember a company library are tools like Bootstrap, Material UI and Design. This course is made of 10 modules. Each module has multiple lessons and this is just one part of four courses. So in our next lesson, we are going to start with the project initialization. I will show you how I usually start a project. See you in the next one.